everyone, Anya here at OwlGiveWithHome.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you make a uh, classic traditional German Christmas Stollen. If you've never had it and if you've never seen it, this is what it looks like. It's a somewhat dense yeast loaf, it's sweet, and it has nuts in it and raisins and spices and I actually put a little marzipan in it. and it's very easy to make. It's a traditional Christmas baked good. And um, if you may have seen it in supermarkets and maybe you have seen a few days ago that I recorded and posted a video about how you can make candied lemon peel. And the real reason I made the candied lemon peel was because that is an essential ingredient for this Christmas Stollen. So let me show you how easy it is to make this and you will absolutely love the taste. For this Christmas Stollen, we need three and a half cups of flour. One half cup of warm milk. One fourth cup of sugar. Two teaspoons vanilla sugar. One teaspoon dried yeast. One teaspoon ground cinnamon and one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. A pinch of salt. Two eggs. Three quarter cup of soft butter and mix everything in a stand mixer until well combined. And you might want to use a splatter guard if your flour is going all over the place. Cover your bowl and let it sit in a warm place until the dough has visibly risen. To this we add 4 ounces of candied lemon peel, 4 ounces of chopped almonds, and 1 cup of raisins that I've soaked in rum for about one day. And then again, I mix everything until well combined. And with all these dry ingredients, it often works best when you do this on your kitchen counter. Now I'm shaping my marzipan into a roll, if I'm using that.
and place it right in the middle of the dough. And then I'm folding the dough over about two thirds. I always like to stick the raisins into the dough because otherwise they get really scorched and black when baking. Place your stollen on a baking sheet on parchment paper and let it rise for about half hour to one hour. And bake it at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes. Remove the stollen from the oven. and brush it with plenty of melted butter while it's still warm. And finally, dust it with plenty of powdered sugar. And you can even use a lot more than I'm using here. Stollen actually is best when you allow it to sit for a few weeks before you eat it. And ideally, we like to let it sit for three weeks. Now this time we didn't really get to that point because I started too late, but um, once you make it, you can wrap it tightly in aluminum foil and it should actually last for a few weeks because there's so much butter and sugar in it um, and that keeps it moist and keeps it from drying out and keeps all the flavors in. And the reason you want to let it sit for three weeks before you actually enjoy it is so that all the flavors can really develop and um, it's going to taste so much better than if you eat it right away which will be hard because it smells so good and it looks so good and I know you want to try it so that's what happened to us. but. Maybe for next year you can start early enough or you make two, you keep one and you start eating the other one. your traditional Christmas Stollen, Weihnachtsstollen, how it is said in German. It is delicious. It has a deep coating of powdered sugar on top and you have you can see that some of it has already soaked in, but it is so good. If you make it, please let me know in the comments below how you liked it, if you were successful, if you made any tweaks or variations to it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I upload a new video every week. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen and I'll see you in the next video.